Yeah, hey, we're tuning in right now to Four Quarters. I'm Gary. I'm one fourth of Fly Supply. Instagram, GB underscore King underscore FSC. Yo, what's happening? This is KP from One Quarter Fly Supply. You can follow me at Social Capital with a K dot LLC. What up, what up? It's Reg. Uh, you can catch me on Instagram, Reginald Wardeau, 25% of Fly Supply. Yo, what's good? It's Rick. Uh, you can catch me um, on IG at Rick the Vibe, 25% of Fly Supply. So, what's the topic for today? Where we at? Um, well, we talk about the fear of uh, the fear of being broke. Uh-oh. You know what I mean? So, I think that's a that's a topic for everybody. Nobody want to be broke. Right. You know what I mean? So, um, mm-hmm. yeah, so we could dive in now. If you broke, you ain't gonna eat. Pretty much. Yeah, so it's, go ahead, yeah, everybody want to eat. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, everybody want to take care of themselves and do the things they need to do for their family and stuff like that. So, man, that's that's a real statement. You know what I'm saying? That's a real, like, inspiration, too. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like, man, if you if you all right with being broke, you just probably, like, checked out mentally and checked out in every way, you feel me? Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, definitely. Uh, I, I know the one thing about being broke, that like you literally do be scared to go back broke. You start moving differently when you do start seeing bread, or if you start seeing bread. So... I, I think probably like when you up, that's when you really get scared. When you down, you don't really probably be scared like that. You don't even know how bad it is when you like in the trenches and stuff like that. You feel me? Mm. But when you up, that's when I feel like you really like get inspired to not go back. Like you said, KP, like, you know what I'm saying? Like that's when you really be inspired to not go back to like old ways and stuff like that. Well, I ain't gonna lie. I remember when I can't see myself just doing certain stuff like you know what I'm saying, that I used to do when I didn't have, you know what I'm saying, as a kid and stuff like that. Like, I can't see myself, like, going back to them ways of going back to them, those type of, like, habits and stuff like that, you feel me? Because, like, I don't know, I feel like when you, um, when you do go up, like, everything go up with it. Like, your eating pattern different. You get to eat different. You get to eat more healthier. You get to eat more cleaner. You know what I'm saying? Like, when you broke... You probably just eating off the dollar menu, you feel me? <laughs> just cause that's what you could afford. You only got five dollars to spend for the day type vibes, you feel me? So I a lot of cause it'd be kinda interesting cause yeah, we be scared to be broke, but Sometimes when you do be broke, that's when you be coming up with some creative ideas. So, I mean, depending on who you are, you can yeah. come up with creative ideas and get that bread up, or even just being creative in general. Like, so I don't know. Would y'all, would y'all say like a lot of the designs uh, are kind of derived from maybe the fear of being broke or even motivated by just staying up like when y'all getting a laugh? I think that's definitely a big part. I know, I know money definitely like plays a, a major role. Money is a major issue. We, we, is in, um, we are in Miami and shit. But um, yeah, I think it does. Like just that hunger and shit. I know we always, um, we always really like trying um express the hunger and shit like that. Or just be inspired by like trying to get more, like you said, like, I guess it is like the same thing in a sense. Yeah. But um, you definitely like, um, when I'm in a lab, like even when we have a, like, you know what I'm saying, you had just enough, you always like inspired to get more, you feel me? Mm-hmm. And like, I think like the, the designs that we be having, like um, kind of like, it, it kind of gives you like um, that vibe of you like I don't know like um, like the money is like a like like something that you reaching for, not saying something that you really got at the time. You feel mm-hmm. me? Like the this t-shirt design is fine by the field being broke. It's like man, like a lot of people trying to make it out the trenches. They probably like looking at people and like seeing how they dress, how fly they is and like, you know what I'm saying? Like they don't want to go that way, they trying to go up, you feel me? Do, do, you, do y'all feel the inspiration goes down once there's a little bit of success? Do you feel like they, the, the, you know, the inspiration goes down? Like the hunger, does it go down? I feel like the hunger don't go down, the inspiration don't go down, it's just, well, um, I feel like when you do get it though, like, the, the discipline gotta go up, you feel me? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, cause now you got more distractions. You got, 
you you could eat more than what you want, you know what I'm saying? You eat more, you probably get lazier, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> it's just like food, like the food may make you sleepy and stuff like that if you eat a lot, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like, man, it, I don't think the inspiration goes down. You could still be inspired. It just depends on like what you do with the, with the elements that you get. Gotcha. Sometimes you could like probably like, like when we travel and stuff like that, I feel like that's when the inspiration get, 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 you get more inspiration off of what you do with your funds. You feel me? Like mm -hmm. if you see different things, you do different things, that's when you get more inspired. But if you probably still in your same element with, you know what I'm saying? Like the tools and the bread you need, you, you've been searching for, it's a possibility that you could be uninspired because now you feel like you done conquered. But when you see more, it's like, oh, it's so much more out here. It's, more, it's so much more I could conquer type vibes. Mm -hmm. I think sometimes it might it might have to do with that personal, that, that actual person, you know what I'm saying? Maybe their personal character trait. Like, um, I know some people might, once they reach a certain level of success, right? Then that might even, I know for me, that motivates me even more because, okay, boom, you get to this plateau, so. I like to move with purpose, you get what I'm saying? So boom, we get to this level, so what's next? You get what I'm saying? Some people get to that level, then they get stagnant, get comfortable, now you're on a decline. Mm -hmm. So going back to the root of your original question, it's like, it all depends on that character trait, I feel like. You know what I'm saying? Because if you look at most albums, right? Jeezy's first album to me is his best body of work, Hunger. Yeah. Hungry as hell. I feel like when we was in the trenches and we wasn't really where we was at now, I think some of our best work came out, or, or at least our, um, our hunger for more, really. You know what I'm saying? And then we get to a certain level of, of success, quote unquote, we might get comfortable. Right, right. And that kind of like derails certain things. But, you know, I, I think it all depends on that character. Right. So what would you say, like, success could be a bad thing for some if you don't have those, those character traits to stay focused? Then success could be something that can be uh, detrimental to it could be, you know what I'm saying? But it goes back to that person. Correct. You know what I'm saying? You can't force um, your character traits and your personality on somebody else. You know what I'm saying? Or sometimes it might be a situation kind of like us where, okay, we all have different skill sets, but to collectively together is a wrap. I've been saying that for years, you know what I'm saying? Like, like Rick will possess certain type of skill sets, I'll possess type of skill sets, I might move too fast, G might not want to take it slow. Um, Cat might bring something to the table, but collectively, I, I think we're unstoppable. So really, it goes back to that individual characteristics of what your upbringing was, or what, what qualities and, and make of you are as a human. But at the end of the day, you might get certain other characteristic traits from other people and then collectively y'all be able to attain that, that one goal. Yeah. Hey guys, welcome back. <laughs> no, I'm just playing, hey listen. Go over to FlySupplyClothing.com and go get you some of this gear that you see us wearing on the show. Thank you for watching the Four Quarters Podcast. We love y'all, man. Peace. So, so do, 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 do y'all think then, like, in order, in order for you to keep that same hunger and stay inspired, that the goal needs to be attached not only just to you, but attached to other people so that way like because i think for me uh the fear for me going broke and I, not only just talking about money just you know just talking about other aspects of life because we always talk about when we, we we talk about success we always um equate that to money but that's not really that I, well for me personally uh, when i talk about success i'm talking about uh you know, being being a good father, being a good son, mother, whatever it is, mm -hmm. being a, a a good server, um, a good, you know, it could be just different things. You know what I'm saying? But um, do you think that it's really important to attach it to something else? Like it just can't be just about your own uh, personal thing. I feel like it is. You know what I'm saying? Like. At one point, like after so after so long, you'd be like, man, this shit is money, and money is like items, and you know what I'm saying, like, but like, like you said, it's like, man, like success ain't after a while, but it take you don't come in and just have that type of mentality. Mm -hmm. It take you to really be getting money and like to know, like, man, this ain't nothing for real, like this shit, this is just bread, but like for you. To
to kind of like come to the conclusion like, man, success is freedom. I can, I need my time, you know what I'm saying? I don't really need this, bro. I need my mm -hmm. time to kind of think freely. I need my time to move freely. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I feel like that comes with like, I feel like that comes with time and you really got to be grounded for something like that. For you to be like, man, I want to be a better dad or a better son or something like that. Like that comes with like, that's, you know, that's, that's not no overnight vibe. You feel me? Like that ain't something that just come, that's you being grounded. Yeah. And you know what I'm saying, your ways and stuff like that. Yeah, I, I think I ain't gonna lie, I think I've been like that though before I even bread. Like yeah. I think I always had that in me. I yeah, think sure, um sure. yeah, I always had that as a shorty, you know what I'm saying? Like I guess you know, my experiences I always knew like it wasn't only a, just trying to make money, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. but you're right though, some of that stuff do come with time, yeah. you know, experience, you feel me? Cause, you know, being a you know, being a father you start realizing Okay, man, you know, this is important. Me um, being able to uh, be there for your, you know, your, your son or your daughter uh, for a specific moment, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Whatever it may be. But I think I always had that character trait since a kid um, to always knowing that it's not even just about just money, it's about like, being, I, I saw my mom and my dad was together, you know what I'm saying? As you know, you know what I'm saying? My mom and my dad, I was raising my mom and my dad. So I always knew that's something I wanted. You know what I'm saying? I want that. I would love to be married one day, you know what I'm saying? Um, and I also knew that, you know, even just experiencing, you know, cause my, my dad got a lot of kids, you know, from different women. But I always knew that, you know, that's not something I really wanted to do. I, I didn't want to pick that up because I saw the effects of that too, you know what I'm saying? Because a lot of times, you know, we was all taught the same thing, you feel me? Is have all these chicks, have all these chicks, <laughs> have all these babies, but then like, you never really saw the effect, you never really witnessed the effects of how that goes down. So I, I always had that, um, that trait. Like, you remember, it was one time when our, our guy used to be a part of us, a part of this, and he said, what he said, man, G, boy, you don't know if. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you don't know if, um, you know, whatever, whatever, like, how you act if a certain amount of, you know, whatever oh, come yeah, in. Get all, yeah. And I was kind of like, right here, like, like still, you, know, you, still, you knew who you were, though. Yeah, I know who I was. Yeah. Because you've been through certain experiences as a kid. Yeah. Like, you seen, like, you was aware early because of, like, the lifestyle y'all was living and the love that you was getting, you feel me? Yeah, yeah. Like everybody don't really get that love or those experiences. Like yes. certain people be sheltered. Yeah. Certain people just, like it's certain people don't know how to fish, to, don't. To, yeah. to even add on to what you, what you said, kinda, mm -hmm. is like in what you was just saying, G, is like money doesn't change you in my opinion. I think it just exposes who you really are. Mm -hmm. Right, you know right, what I'm saying? Right, Once you gain it, and, and, and even how you attain it. You know right. what I'm saying? If you attain it in a shiesty way, then you just always been a shiesty nigga. Right. In my right. book, right. you know what I'm saying? I ain't mean to cut you off. No, 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 no. But you, you made a good point, point, though. No, you made a good point. It's yeah. kind of like, well, all that's saying in the same sense. It's just like you just adding a whole nother point to it. Yeah. But I, I, I don't know, man. I just felt like, man, in certain ways, bread ain't everything, but it is. It's, it's like you said, Kyle, it's a major issue. Like, <laughs> well, you go from making 50K to making an M, and now you done put yourself in a position where, like, I'm bringing in a million a year, and my cost of living is 300K a year, you know what I'm saying? Like, or 400K, and then you about to go back to making 50, like, all of a sudden, like, that, that well running dry, you about to go back to making 50K, but your expenses is up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? A certain, to a certain amount. Yeah. That's when that fear could kick in, you feel me? Like, you don't know how you gonna do it. And I feel like that's when, when that fear kick in and when you, when you do get to that point, that's when people, like, start doing stuff that would probably, like, um, expose themselves or in a sense so they may might do desperate things some people even kill themselves because they can't figure it out you feel me like you know what i'm saying so it is scary it is a real that's a real thing like man like some people may be like oh it's just bread but it may be deeper they a lot of people might be like damn boy if i don't have this money like like what's the movie um what's the movie with um 
Dang, the Harlem movie when he was like, man, I love the game, I love the ball. Paid in full. Paid in full. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, the boys, yeah. he up there, he like, man, if I don't have this, <laughs> like, what is the people gonna love me? You know what I'm yeah. saying? They they view it in a different way. And, and that's his saying? fear of broke, just wanting that attention and just being in the limelight. Yeah. So his fear of broke is just making sure he always stay in that light. But if it goes away, then you saw what happened at the end of the movie, though. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, it goes back, in my opinion, to that personal character trait. So what's good, world? This Rick the Vibe here, man. Hey, make sure y'all following us on IG, 4QTRS. That's Four Quarters Podcast. Keep up with us on IG. You can also find us on Spotify, YouTube, iTunes, the whole nine, man. Y'all keep up with us. We out here. Yeah, G. I, I, think, I think the fall can be catastrophic. Yeah. <laughs> you know, if you, like you said, your example, if you was making 50000 a year to now you're making a million a year and then you fall from that. So the thing is, at least what I think, my philosophy is, when you start making some money, you gotta learn how to control your burn rate. Yeah. Uh, so if you make getting more money, yeah. it don't mean to go ahead and match it. So now if you was making fifty thousand, now you making a million. Now you wanna okay, you was at you was living in a three hundred thousand dollar home when you was making fifty thousand a year. And now you turn around and you go buy you a seven hundred fifty thousand dollar home because you make a million or a million dollar home. Yeah. So like you just going up and you just matching your expenses every time you go up. So um so my, my advice would be, if that's the case, when you're making that bread, I'm not saying you can't be present um, in that moment and enjoy the fruits of your labor, but just to you know plant some seeds mm -hmm. that would provide some sort of cash flow that can, that can assist if things change, because things do change. Like even when we was at um, one of the jobs I worked at at AT&T and I witnessed it, like, we was real, real young working there, mm -hmm. and you had dudes making six figures out there. Mm -hmm. And I'm mean, like, I used to always watch the way how they spend their money. Like they get, they, we get paid. I believe we used to get paid on Thursday, and then they'll come with all of the new jeans, you know, all this stuff, mm -hmm. new watches and all that stuff. And then um, what, what I was doing because it was a sales environment, I was watching the way how you come one week and you'll see uh you know that brown box on that person's desk the yeah but the turnover rate was high yeah, so yeah. you can make a lot of mistakes because you're doing sales over the phone so you got a third party company listening to make sure you're doing everything um correct mm -hmm. and if you make that mistake they can they can end your your career so you can go Jeez. from six figures i will i witness people going from six figures down to zero very quick like so so me the way how I, I learn i don't have to really go through it i can just watch what you're doing mm -hmm. and i'm just going chill so what i what i was doing at that time was while they was buying watches and they were buying all that stuff at that time at an early age and i was early i was like 23 at the time what i was doing was i was paying i was paying my car my car note i was paying my car note like months in advance and paying principal down on the car mm -hmm. i was paying off my land that i had in georgia that i was making payments on and then i was uh just preparing when that day come and it did come and I was forced to resign, I was able to I was able to chill for about almost like two years. Yeah, I remember. And I was able to get you know, real estate license, I was able to get mm -hmm. my CDLs and I was enjoying my time. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I ain't never have to ask anybody for no bread. Mm -hmm. So I was like, so yeah. that was what I said. My mindset always been like that since way back in the days, you know what I'm saying, for what I picked up. So as the as the money goes up. And, that, and that's me, then that's me like being fearful of having to ask somebody for help. I, I said, all of us are like that. Yeah. You don't want to yeah. ask nobody for no help. You got a lot of pride, you know what I mean? You don't want to ask nobody, give me a hundred or me hold two hundred dollars. Hey, I'm down now, you feel me? Mm -hmm. So it's like, that was always my fear. So like Reg was saying, uh, pretty much, as as we are going up, or as you're going up, it just make you get even more not even not even greedy, but just more focused. Yeah. Because because it comes with a responsibility. You yeah. feel me? Like when we just I went to the um a concert this past weekend on a Sunday, and I'm sitting there saying to myself like, dog, I remember I used to be dreading Sundays because I got to go to work. Yeah. On Monday, and I'm over here. I'm sitting back. I, I was telling KP this yesterday on yeah. the phone. Mm -hmm. and I'm sitting back at the concert. 
before prior to me going to the concert, I'm having, I'm, 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 I'm eating sushi. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Having drinks. Yeah. Go to the and I'm going to the um, went to the arena. Go to the concert. I'm having drinks and I'm just vibing. <laughs> and I'm not even thinking about oh I gotta go to work tomorrow. And so stuff like that when you when you're able to be. In that position, and, yeah, it, mm. it gives you that freedom. You know what I'm saying? You can go, you know, you can work out, and you don't need to be making a million dollars to do that. Facts. I think everybody be having the wrong concept of yeah, you facts. need a million dollars to take a trip that costs a thousand dollars. You don't need a million dollars to do that. Right. And I had to tell myself that too, like just to wait and wait and waiting to do this, waiting to do that. And I'm still learning right now. Cause I know Reggie tell me all the time, man, just put the ticket, G. <laughs> put the ticket and just go, G. Put yeah. the ticket. That's the energy it. rubbing off. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, cause, 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 uh, cause even with as responsible as you are, right? Right. And, and I think you still need to enjoy the, the right. fruits of your labor. You get right. what I'm saying? Cause just like that money's not guaranteed tomorrow, your life ain't guaranteed tomorrow. Right, We're saving up for this day for, so we can finally take this trip. But if you're responsible enough and you got all your assets and you got your liabilities together and you know what's coming in and what's going out and you're responsible enough to enjoy yourself, I, I'm, I'm all for like enjoying yourself because we all work hard. We all bust our ass, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? So uh, with, with great wealth also comes great responsibility. So once you attain that responsibility, you know you're at a certain level. And you can enjoy yourself right. and enjoy the fruits of labor. Make sure your your loved ones are good, or make sure you're good. Because everybody can't be good if you ain't good. Right. It's just a mental check sometimes. I just gotta like spend that glow, put my finger there, and we out. Yeah. Especially if I put in that work. Can't nobody tell me I ain't earned it. Right. Nothing's been given to me. I've earned everything, so I can I can enjoy this. I can enjoy this watch. I can do whatever as long as everything under me is 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 taken care of, right. and I still do my job at the shop or whatever I gotta do. Then. We, we can enjoy the fruits of our labor and not feel guilty about it. Right. You get what I'm saying? Right. Right. That's just my personal take as far as like, um, when it comes to certain things and just to add on to what you were saying yeah. a little bit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and, and something else I noticed too is like, um, sometimes when, when you do make a little bit more, um, financially, I'm speaking of, that, um, well, you can be going in an increase financially, but then, your personal life is in a decrease. Yeah. And, and like I was telling KP last night, we, we spoke about this last night briefly. We're talking about like um, how um, pretty much like you could be, like I said, your bread could be right, but man, you could be feeling crazy. Yeah. I've been feeling that. And that's mm -hmm. why I know the world is in trouble right now. Mm -hmm. I've been like, there's, it, there's been times when I've been saying, like, I'll be like, man, I'm gonna save up and I'm gonna get this thing. Mm. And then I'll be like, then I'll finally get the, I'll get the money to do it. And then I realize, like, dang, I don't even want that. Yeah. So then I knew, like, <laughs> that was probably marketed to me on, on social media mm. platform, mm. made me feel like I wanted it, and I, did, I, I, I just don't get it. But then, you, then I, I was falling into that trap too, even, even with the background, you know, my foundation. I was still struggling with hitting that number. I was making a number, then I was like, dang, I wanna get more. Mm -hmm. I wanna get more. I wanna yeah, get more. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, dang, dog, if I can do this, well, damn, if I yeah, get this. Then I, so I experienced it, but I'm glad that I, I'm, I was always able to have understanding. I'll be understanding. Like, I can identify. Like, I'll be having an argument. He's <laughs> <laughs> like, it's never gonna be enough for you. <laughs> Cause it's no high up, dog. I ain't gonna lie though, you just said something though, how like social media like, plays a big influence. Yeah. Cause I feel like really, that's what really inspired people to not be broke. Like, especially when you have, like you said, you already got pride. Like we, like a certain type of man that got pride. Like, what? Mm -hmm. I ain't even, I ain't trying to ask nobody. Yeah. But now that you done, you done put yourself on that screen, <laughs> like, you, you feel me? If you done put yourself on that screen and now you done, you kept that shit going, yeah. a lot of people don't know how to, like, be human. Mm. You feel me? Mm. Do you feel like it takes away from the, the, the distracts you from actually doing the work that made it possible for you to even go on Instagram because it's a form of flaw. Mm -hmm. yeah, so prior to you being in that position to do that, it was like a focus. It was like some sort of work that you had to put in to get that money to start. I don't know what it is. I just know like, man, it's just like, it's like back in the days before IG. 
Uh, you, you might see somebody riding big on rims. When it's hustle time, you know what I'm saying? You're not going to see them no more. Yeah. You feel me? They go go in their corner and do what they got to do. But now that you done put yourself on the screen to the, like, you put yourself on a platform where it's like billions of people on that shit, or millions of people on that. You may have been talking a certain way, dressing a certain way, eating a certain way. You showing everything. You showing your plates. Mm -hmm. You showing a real when you going to the the restaurant. You showing where you shop. You showing how you shop. Mm -hmm. And to to probably like the ego of a of a person might not know how to turn around and be back who they was a show like man I lost it and I'm getting it I gotta get it back mm. you feel me cause to me losing it like and getting it back like you said I lost a job I was able to go you lost your job we was making good bread we was making more money than certain people who went to school I ain't even go to school I was working that job bro you mm -hmm. feel me I went to school but I ain't never finished you had got your degree yeah. we was making cash dog. like yeah. people on that thing were making six figures right, right. so like to go from that to be like, dang, I lost my job. Now I ain't even working for two years. You feel me? You just said you, you chill for two years, but you was building in the process. Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't know, like, because, like, because of the fact that they showing it, they showing it, they showing certain things, and it's an influence to the people around them. They don't know how to come back and, like, you know what I'm saying, do that 360 or mm. build all over again. It's real, dog. Like. Mm. Is, is that more so for people who abuse social media and then and then when you when you're chasing smoke and mirror because you you in competition with somebody that's already getting it illegally like mm -hmm. half of them you know what i'm saying yeah, or whatever yeah. it is or getting it easy and not mm -hmm. really earning it but then you got people who might be on social media to promote their businesses promote um whatever product that they have going on or whatever the case might be or some people might even just show a level of success because like-minded people only want to deal with like-minded people. If, if you're not showing success and, and I'm not attracted to that or, or whatever the case might be, then why am I going out of my way to DM this person and then inquire about their business? And it's certain things that I might put out there on purpose. You know what I'm saying? Because one, it's, it's legitimate minds. Um, I, and, 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 and in order to like acquire or attain some type of like energy, the right energy that I want, or, 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 or inquiries coming my way, I have to kind of like put certain things out there or or show a level of success at the same time. You get what I'm, I don't know if y'all no, follow I, me, I but, but you got to kind of show you that. Got to, you and, 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 and for me, I do it in a way where it's subtle, but it's not like in your face. And if you take it in your face, and that's just on the person on the other side of the screen. Right. But I, I can't dim my light to make sure you shine. You get what I'm saying? But if I'm trying to acquire a certain type of attention and, and, and increase my, my personal value and also my business value, and I've done a lot of business behind the scenes just off what I've been promoting businesses, our business. How you carry yourself. And how I carry myself. So I think if you abuse it, then, then when you fall, then now you're chasing the smoke and mirror. Then you, gotta, then you go on doing desperate measures just trying to get it back. But if you're earning it and you know what you're doing and you know you're standing on your own tin and you know who you are as a person, then I could personally care less what the next person is thinking about me because I know what I'm doing. Yeah. In my opinion, you get what I'm yeah. saying? Like I you. feel like some a lot of people do abuse it. It's a lot of cap, like yeah. a lot of like flaw, like you say that's flogging. You feel me when like oh hey let me hold. I see you got um ten bands on you. Let me take your ten bands and act yeah. like it's mine. That's flogging. You feel yeah, me? Oh them yeah. not my Cartiers, but let me hold your jaws down and I'm gonna keep taking pictures in your shades. Like gotcha. those, I think that's flogging. Yeah, yeah. You feel me? But. It's a crazy world, dog. Like especially like that's a whole nother world. That's like you know, it's in the metaverse and stuff like that. So yeah, it sounds like it's just about the intention. That like, it's about it's like a lot of different aspects: the intention and the personal mm -hmm. level, and then also your level of broke. Everyone's broke is different. You know what I'm saying? All right, y'all. So you made it to the end of this episode, man. Dope. We got even way more things to give you guys. Be sure to go to fourquarters.podcast and learn more information. Subscribe, like, share this, tag a couple friends, do all that. And then also check out FSC Academy, where we'll be dropping our ebook, our training courses on how to build a brand, teamwork, um, just everything from how to actually even trademark your logos. The whole nine, man. We're giving a lot of free game on there. So sign up, tune in, subscribe, like. See you on the next one. Right, right. We, we say that all the time, right. man. It's like, right. damn, damn, I'm down, but my down is probably the next man's whatever. You know what or, I'm or, yeah. or I might be up, but my, my up is probably peons to the next yeah, man. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? So yeah. like,
to get to that level study, your personal bro level or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The word. Cause, cause um, somebody who making fifty thousand, that's they they could probably they probably got like probably less than thirty percent that goes to expenses. They probably living nice, like and they yeah. stacking up, cause you know you still gotta save and stuff like that. True. And they probably happier than the nigga who's making. Five hundred thousand a year, but got expenses of the ass like four hundred fifty thousand in expenses, and now they they just got fifty thousand out of kind. I mean that's straight too, but I'm just saying like the percentage, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so I mean, mm -hmm. everybody different. You might fifty k at one point to me was awesome. You feel me? Like <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was like, what man? I'm making fifty. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying. But then you know it took for me to kind of like you know like bust through that something or. Had that selling on me and be like, man, you know what? Cost of living going up. This ain't enough. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I need to do this. I need to do that. Mm -hmm. I, I, I think, like you just said, it's different levels of being broke. Um, but like for me, it's not even different levels of being broke, like financially either. Mm -hmm. like, you can be up, like I said before, financially. But like for me, right? At least in, in this part of my journey, at least I'm broken relationships. Mm -hmm. But not, hmm. not, um, for for my lifestyle and the way how the way how I spend, I feel like shit, for I'm, I'm I'm cool for I'm cool financially for the way how I spend. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That, that that's sufficient for me. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And, and as I prove that I'm responsible enough to get more, then I then I, you know I'll be granted more. But I'm I'm broke. I'm broke more so in relationship wise. So you cold hearted, are you, G? <laughs> <laughs> Not even so much cold hearted, but the, the, the blame is fully on me because I'm responsible. Break, break, that, break that down a little bit when you say um, because we might know, but, but what do you mean exactly as far as like relationships? It, it, I realize in decision making, in decision making, uh, I've been realizing that I've been I've been wavering. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So that could be that can cause you to be broke too. Like how you, you made you made that uh that 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 wise decision when you got married. Yeah. So it like you had your journey where it was broke, but then it got True. you got rich in that. So now you married. That's why I said in, 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 right now, in this journey right now. You know what I'm saying? Like in the, the journey right now, that's why I'm I'm broke at that right now. And like I said, financially, like you said, it could be somebody could be making Fifty thousand, like or uh, or a hundred thousand or two hundred thousand. Somebody can make it ten million, but this man make a hundred million. Mm -hmm. So you you poor, you you broke to him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. but I, so what I'm saying, at least financially for me, for the way how I, I can control my burn rate and the way I spend. So financially, I'm okay because I don't never go above my means. And so, but broke wise, like I said, this part of my journey right now, I'm broke relationship wise. So yeah. inspired by love, like when you see certain love and shit, you get inspired. Yeah, I'm inspired by, inspired by seeing that love up. when I saw Reg make that big decision. Mm -hmm. I was like, dang, that kind of inspired me because, yeah. you know, in order to make a move like that, you really got to be ready to go a different direction. Mm -hmm. That's a different, that's a different broke, dog. <laughs> so then now when you get rich, and we can be rich in love, and that's important. Because right, yeah. mo most people who, who's with one person, I'll say, they're, 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 they're more focused. Mm. Cause that's a whole different part yeah. of like, because not, when you slide with a lot of chicks, dog, it's like three, four, five Valentine's Day. Yeah, you, should be getting distracted. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Know, like right. a lot of Valentine's Day. You should be that song, like Valentine's yeah. the worst day. Valentine's Day, yeah, Christmas right. coming up. Yeah. You know, and a lot of stuff, and so we got different you know, birthdays, different birthday, different personality, different attitudes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And so and a lot of energy, a lot, a lot of, energy. of energy. So you not, you can't um, focus on that one thing. Yeah. You know mm. what I'm saying? So most people that can focus on that one thing, yeah. especially if it's someone that you can you can love and and really bring something to the table, then you know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. it's, you feel me? Like that's you, you, you rich in that way. You and that's me? helping you out uh, too. She's elevating you. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, that's a, that's a vibe. It's always a plus. I ain't gonna lie. After this convo, like man, I'm I'm even more inspired by being broke. Like, but in <laughs> other ways, the, fear, way, the, yeah, fear, the, the fear, fear of being broke. The fear. <laughs> I'm inspired. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I leave that in. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but for real though, cause like I wasn't looking at it in the. Like, I wasn't looking at it in that way. I'd sit and be like, man, you know, like, broke is just being, you know, like, Bread. your yeah, pocket's yeah. empty. You know what I'm saying? Like, the Monopoly man with no money in his pocket or something like that. But yeah. now, like, after talking, like, I realized, well, I'm more 
my freedom is everything. Well, you break my freedom, like yeah. without freedom and creativity, I can't do nothing, dog. I feel you on that. You feel man. me? Like if you take that, if you break that, like I ain't gonna have nothing. Yeah, no, that's real, man. I, I know for me, if I could sum it up, man, I think my fear of being broke is more so on a level of like acquiring a certain level of success and freedom and financial freedom to be in a position that I actually put other people on, man. I get, I get, I get a good crazy feeling in, in me when I know I could put, let's just say, uh, our brothers on or, or, or give them the ability to even think outside the box and create their own vision and, and allow them to be in their own lane and just making sure my family is straight. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So my fear of being broke is just being in a position of just making sure everybody that I, that I mess with for real is in a good position. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, quarters, we out. We out. Thank you.